Welcome to a lesson on the One Variable Statistics tool on the T84 graphing calculator. When we run the One Variable Statistics tool, we get all the following information. X bar is equal to the mean or average. The sum of X is equal to the sum of the data values. The sum of X squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the data values. SX is the sample standard deviation. Sigma X is the population standard deviation n is equal to the number of data values. And on the second page, we have x min, which is the minimum data value, q1, which is the first quartile, med, which is the median, q3 is equal to the third quartile, and finally, max x is the maximum data value. Though it's important to note that there are several methods for determining the first and third quartiles. The T84 calculators use the formula 0.25 times the quantity n plus one to calculate the position of the lower quartile. For the upper quartile, or Q3, the formula is 0.75 times the quantity n plus one. And the TID calculators return the average position between the measurements instead of the exact position or running to a particular position used in some stat software packages if the position is a decimal. Another way to explain how the T84 calculator finds the quartiles would be to say that the lower quartile, or Q1, is the median of the lower half of the data. The upper quartile, or Q3, is the median of the upper half of the data. However, if the median is the data value, it is not considered to be in the upper or lower half of the data. So looking at these two examples where we have an even number of data values, notice how the median here would be 14, and here we'd have a median of 15.5. In these two examples, the median is not a data value, and therefore Q1 is the mean of seven and nine, which is eight, and Q3 would be the mean or average of 16 and 20, which is 18. In this example, the median of the lower half would be nine, so Q1 is nine, and Q3 would be the median of the upper half, or 24. Now let's look at two examples where we have an odd number of data values. Because we have an odd number of data values, notice how the median is a data value, both here and here, so the TI does not consider it in the upper or lower half. And therefore Q1 is going to be the mean or average of seven and nine, which is eight, and Q3 is going to be the average of 20 and 24, which is 22. Here though, because we have an odd number of data values in the lower and upper half, because TI does not consider the median in the upper or lower half, Q1 is nine and Q3 is 26. This is important to recognize because if your course does not use the same technique in order to find the quartiles, you don't want to rely on the 84 to find the quartiles for you. And in fact, in our class, we actually are not using the same method that the TI-84 does. We use the method outlined here. But let's go ahead and take a look at an example where we use the TI-84. We want to determine the mean, median, sample and population standard deviation, and the five number summary using the TI-84 graphing calculator. So for the five number summary, which is the min, Q1, median, Q3, and max, we will use the values from the T84 graphing calculator. So the first step is to enter the data. To do this, we press the stat key and then enter. And we'll enter the data in L1. So we first want to clear L1 by going to the top of the column, press clear, and then enter. And now we'll enter all the data values. So 12, enter, 15, enter, and so on. It is important to verify the data is entered correctly. Which looks good. And now to run the one variable statistics, we press the stat key, right arrow once to calculate. We want this first option, one variable statistics. So we can press one or just enter because one is already highlighted. Now on this version of the 84, this is a screen that we see. If you have an older version, I'll show you what that screen looks like in just a moment. Our data is in L1, so this is correct. If our data was in a different list, we would change this by entering the correct list. For example, if it was in L2, we'd press second two. If it was in L3, we'd press second three and so on and now we press the down arrow. We don't have a frequency list, so we can leave this blank. So we go down to calculate and press enter. 
And before we gather information, if you have an older version of the T84 or a T83, once you select one variable statistics, you would enter in the list the data is in. However, if it's in L1, we can skip this because L1 is the default. And notice in this case, it is showing L1, but this would not be required. But if the data was in, let's say, L2 or L3, we'd have to enter that here before pressing enter. So on the older version, once we press enter, the screen would look like this. Notice from this screen, we can determine the mean, which is X bar, as well as the sample and population standard deviation, or SX is a sample standard deviation, and sigma X is the population standard deviation. So the mean is 25.5, the sample standard deviation to two decimal places would be 8.68, and the population standard deviation to two decimal places would be 8.31. Let's go ahead and record this. So the mean is 25.5, the sample standard deviation to two decimal places is 8.68, and the population standard deviation is 8.31. And now we'll arrow down to the second page, and notice how the median is 26.5. And now using the method on the T84, the five number summary is going to be the min, Q1, the median, Q3, and the max. So we have 12, 18, 26.5, 33, and 37. Now from here we could use the five number summary to create a box and whisker plot, but just remember again to verify the method you're supposed to use to determine Q1 and Q3 as a method used by the T84. Next, we'll take a look at an example where we also have a given frequency. I hope you found this helpful.